Today I shall test the Haynes Solar Cooker. And I'm going to do it in some of the worst conditions one might expect for trying to use the sun to cook food. It is just above freezing. March 28th, 2020. The sun is at a elevation of 35 degrees. It's blowing very chilled air. And I have cat assistance. <sighs> so I'm going to work with a highly reflective surface. Eye shade. And I'm going to try to heat a can of lentil soup. Thank you, Squeak. Thank you, Bob. Oh, setup was a snap. Blue snaps for the sun being low on the horizon, above the horizon, since I am uh, approximately 36 degrees geographic latitude, and the sun is very low in the sky. I am using the blue snaps and not the red ones. When the sun is high in elevation, one uses the red snaps. I'm not pointing the cooker towards the sun at the moment because I wanted to film it without having the camera go wonky. Bricks. Can't. Pot is black to absorb heat, of course. And I will now install the cone cover to designed to retain heat. I just wish the sun would come out. Note the angle of the shadow lines up with the solar cooker as the sun's apparent azimuth changes I will rotate the solar cooker to face the sun throughout the day. I shall now put food in there and leave it for a few hours. There. Some people might think that Today is a horrible day to test a solar cooker. I think it is the perfect day to test the cooker. Maybe not use it, it's overcast. But for a test to see how well it does, I think today is the perfect day. I can smell it cooking. It's been 40 minutes. The lid started to condense the moisture in 20 minutes, which I find quite impressive. Kitty, go away. The Uncle David doesn't really love you, not really. So, I have changed the azimuth to reflect the traveling sun. That's right, the sun is traveling because it orbits Earth. By the way, it's flat. Nobody cares, kitty. Go away. So, 
there's condensation just above the vent hole on the pot lid and a little bit right there around the rim where the lid did not fit snugly and I'm thinking it's time to give it a try what do you think Bob kitty don't care you don't care I'm not going to share it. Ah! Look at the steam coming out of that puppy. Mmm. It actually browned on the top. It's piping hot. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, mmm. Too hot to eat. I must let it cool. And I could use some salt. Mm. Ah. ah, too hot. Ah. I'm a gully. So, bitter cold day, mostly cloudy, the end of March, <clears throat> and the food is too hot to eat. I'd say that is a positive test. Mwah. What do you think, Bob? Earl, Earl Kitty, what do you think?